Well, after a week of negotiations, the National Hockey League and its players might be moving closer to ending the lockout. But that can't make up for the 58 days and counting without any NHL hockey games here in the United States. In the meantime, some players have headed overseas to get back into the rink, including fan favorite Washington Capitals player Alexander Ovechkin. RT caught up with Ovechkin to talk about playing in front of his fellow Russians. I have options uh, with uh, CSKA Moscow. Uh, I'm almost signed there, but uh, I have a very good relationship with uh, Sergei Fedorov, and uh, I talk to him uh, mostly time. But uh, uh, right now I'm here, and uh, you know uh, I'm happy. Of course, it's uh, it's a different hockey here uh, than the NHL. Uh, it's a different uh, uh, rinks, uh, different ice, different speed, less contacts here, uh, not not many hits, but. Uh, I don't think uh, I, I'm changed like a uh, like a player, like a person here. Uh, you know, I play I play my best and I try to do my best. And then NHL, you came to the zone and uh, from the blue line, you can shoot the rich shot and uh, score goals. From here, it's uh, very tough to score because it's a uh, couple more meters. Uh, you have to skate and uh, it, you can feel the difference behind the net and front of the net. The only problem is uh, what I have uh, in Washington. I miss it. I miss my friends, I miss my family, uh, but uh, again, uh, you're professional and um, if you have a time to relax, you have to, you have to use it, but uh, most of the time you, you don't have a day off, uh, you don't have a, a time to do some, uh, something crazy like you always do in the summer. You've grown up like a person, you've grown up like a player and uh, sometimes you, when you was uh, 20 years old and 21 years old, you do some uh, stuff but you never do it right now. So. Uh, again, you learn from your mistakes, you learn from your life, and uh, again, uh, it's, it's your future. You know, you, you can uh, go out, you can uh, uh, do something crazy before the game because uh, uh, you're healthy, you have to, have to be stay uh, 100%. So uh, usually uh, it's, it's not work. Well, critics of the lockout say that as long as players and owners argue over revenue sharing, it's the fans here in the U.S that are the real losers in this brawl.